And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from Ligue 2 coming right up for you. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pit, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. This is the team that Saint-Étienne will go with. Well, they're also set up with a back five, but I think key today will be the central midfield. Whichever side dominates that area will be able to get their wing backs further forward and get them in the play. And so the battle commences. Montconduit. He's in control of the situation. Bad pass. Into the advanced position. Could be threatening. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. But doesn't have to do it on his own. The cross is on. And he's keen on cutting in. Magnificent defending. Rajot. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Not to be this time. So, Mathieu Cafaro. Lobri. It's a weighted pass. Decent ball. And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1-0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. And he takes it on, and a goal! 1-0 it is, they've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be
Niels and Kunku. Hasso. Gives it a go. And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Lorenzo Rajo. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Strong play here. But a shocking pass, really. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent. And they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Well, a good tackle. Takes the shot. A goal! Another one. It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. You've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. comes to absolutely nothing careless in possession and they need to get tighter well it came to nothing in the end well nearing the half-time interval and suffice it to say they're not making great use of home advantage Stuart your assessment well I'm almost lost for words because this just hasn't been good enough and it starts with their defending the forwards haven't pressed the ball the midfield players have been too loose and the defenders haven't seen danger I just can't see a way back for them and that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick and we're focusing on him for a reason, Stuart. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, he's dicing with trouble here, having already been booked. And it is a second yellow. He's off. Well, you could sense it coming, couldn't you? It's a really silly challenge. 
And they will make the change now. Danger. Rémi Boissier. Bradley Danger. A wonderful intervention. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Victor Lobri. Trasso. Now there to intercept. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. And in the perfect position to read it. Rajo. Good tackle. That's useful play. But the danger averted for now. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Spot on with that tackle. Dennis Appiah. Really good interception. Crasso. And he has options available. And threading it forward. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Just ten minutes remaining here. Lovely ball over the top. And he takes on the shot. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And that will be the keeper's ball. Victor Lobri. 
Crasso. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Well, Stewart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.